Prince William called the Duke of Edinburgh for advice over the decision to split his household from Prince Harry's, it emerged yesterday. He telephoned Philip, 97, at Sandringham several weeks ago because he values his wise counsel, it is understood. The prince knew the parting of ways from his younger brother was inevitable, but was concerned about how it might look and wanted to be reassured that Harry would be well supported by Buckingham Palace. To William's mind, no one knows the setup at the palace better than his grandfather, or would give him a more unbiased opinion of the brothers' plans. It is not known what was discussed between the pair but clearly the future king's mind was put at rest. On Thursday night it was announced that Harry and Meghan are to split from William and Kate in one of the biggest royal shakeups in recent years. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will move their entire staff and offices to be with the Queen at Buckingham Palace, cutting all ties with Kensington Palace, where William and Kate live and work. Harry and Meghan have also appointed their own taxpayer-funded PR Supremo, former Clinton adviser Sir Latham, with the rest of their new household funded by the Queen and Prince Charles privately. Aides have moved to quash rumors that the change is due to a rift between the two brothers and their wives after reports that there have been difficulties between them. They insist the changes were always due to take place because of William's future role as Prince of Wales and, eventually, King. Both the Queen and Charles made clear to the brothers it would be better for all that the shift was made sooner rather than later, it is understood. A source said, it's about placing the two dukes on a permanent footing that ensures changes aren't needed again, when Charles accedes to the throne and William becomes Prince of Wales. The Cambridges have made clear they will keep their court at Kensington Palace, rather than follow in Charles's footsteps and move into Clarence House. Harry and Meghan have also turned down the mansion, saying they see their new Windsor residence, Frogmore Cottage, as their forever home. The Sussexes will join the Queen's other children in having offices at Buckingham Palace. In the future, they may also take over a suite of rooms for when they are staying in London.